Good morning everybody, it's Jean here. Jean True Love from True Love Quotes for You. I'm back in my sewing room as you can see. It's early morning. We have a, a full day ahead of us, but I just wanted to um, uh, announce the winners of my little um, Cathedral Windows pin cushions. I had, had I did a tutorial on these little pin cushions about two weeks ago and I said I was going to choose a winner from my patrons uh, list. Um, I, I have a Patreon account where I have um, members who um, pay me. Uh, they leave me a tip in my tip jar in my sewing room and every month I would do a tutorial exclusively for my patrons. But this time I did this little tutorial. I did this little tutorial on these pin cushions for everybody um, but I am announcing two winners from my patron list. And those winners are two, one each pin cushion, Helen O. Soares and Lori Christian. You um, have one. I've chosen you to win one each of these little lovely little pin cushions. Again, these are my little cathedral windows pin cushion. This is one block. As you can see behind me, I was me, experimenting five. with five inch squares. I had a whole bunch of five inch squares, charm squares, um, that I just started pulling. Now, basically, cathedral windows is a traditional uh, method, and it's an old method of folding fabric. It takes a tremendous amount of fabric. Well, this is sort of a new way to do it. You do have to back it with the traditional cathedral windows quilt pattern you don't have to back it it's backed itself but I had to back this um, I made a quilt about two two and a half years ago and also I had to back a tremendous amount of fabric I believe that quilt um, which I have not a tutorial on I have a tutorial on my my pillow that matches my quilt I think that quilt took about 45 yards of fabric unbelievable amount of fabric this little this little pin cushion that doesn't take that much fabric but this little um quilt that i had just made the other night just whipped this up the other night my husband ian has claimed it that was my video i just used all different fabrics i just used all different five five inch squares to come up with this quite a few people were like oh could you do a tutorial on that well i, I have actually done a tutorial on my cathedral windows it's more it's more um traditional looking um, on my on my little pillow i had made this pillow again a couple years ago and this was sort of um this sort of took on the the look of my quilt that i had made with the polka dot background here and then the um the, the sweet little charm squares put in here this was made up with four inch squares this is more of the traditional looking cathedral windows as opposed to my multi my multi uh, colored cathedral windows there this is more traditional but i think i will in a, in the future make a um, a little tutorial um, I did a full depth, depth tutorial on this pillow here, which I'll put the link below, but I'll do a tutorial um, of how I just pulled all different fabrics. And I, actually somebody said it looks sort of like a stained glass quilt. But it's so, no, no curved piecing, but boy is it effective. It really is very effective. So much so, I'm on this Cathedral Windows quilt kick that I thought, um, I had a, uh, after I made my pin cushion, I had a subscriber say, oh, that would make a really nice, just one block um, cushion, a nice pillow, nice pillow cover. So what did I do? I made one huge, great big honking pin cushion. <laughs> no, a little, a little cushion here, a little pillow cover that I've do I'm doing now a tutorial on. This is what my tutorial is on today. I've made one cushion with the exact way I made my little pin cushion. This this cushion here itself takes here, uh, it it takes uses. six decorative ten inch squares. That's it, and then eight ten, uh, eight ten inch squares for the the rolled frame here, and that's it. And then a bit of fabric for the backing. This is an envelope closing pillow, which I show you how I make. Um, and there's, it's a, I would say this is even a beginner's if you follow my tutorial step by step, but it's just so delightful. I love it. I just stuck that on there to sort of, I, I, I might put a button on there. Um, but yeah, there's my lovely little, little, my, my lovely little cushion, a suggestion. Um, I did, I, the, um, the way I had done the side here, um, I had to make my pillow slightly smaller because when I cut these, uh, this, this fabric here, this 10 inch square in half, as was suggested, it was a bit too small. 
but that was okay. I just made my, my pillow form inside was a bit smaller. This is about 16 inches square, and then the pillow form inside is about an 18 inch square pillow form. So you've, if you've been doing this, I show you, I tell you exactly what you need. Anyway, so that's my little cathedral windows pillow. I made two of these. It matches my sort of my front room, that look. Um, but again, I'm, I'm on a cathedral windows kick. This is my husband's little my husband's little quilt here um, because of the, the method. It's so it's so delightful, really. But uses quite a lot of fabric, and uh, even this method uses a lot of fabric. So anyway, this is my tutorial. I do hope I do you enjoy it and make a couple of lovely little cushions. It's one. It's just a. It's just a <laughs> a large pin cushion on steroids. And Helen and Lori, I will be getting in touch with you through Patreon. You have won my pin cushion. So again, love from the true loves, folks. Have a lovely day. Bye. Mm -hmm. For the background and then two 10 inch squares for this inset that's all you need six 10 inch squares unbelievable so this this white here is going to be it's going to look like that one that's not quite it's not quite that it, this one had the big flowers these have the smaller flowers but I have two of them and then I'm going to pull four more I will put uh, uh, for my background I have one um, I think I'll do this green one sort of keep in, in keeping like that and then I want a, another large black one so I'm going to do that black floral there and then what else do I want I think I'll do a, maybe I'll do a stripe maybe I'll do a stripe there yeah quite, or do I want a red I want do I want a red yeah I'll just do a red one uh, let me just see yeah I'll do a red one just like I had on that so it's almost the same but not quite so this this is the tan fabric I have it's a real pretty um, friendships are sewn one stitch at a time, uh, things done by half, patched your joy, be quilted, um, maybe they, lest they unravel, hem your blessings with needle and thread, my soul is fed. It's just so lovely, just a, uh, just a, a, a quilty script. This fabric, um, let me just tell you, because somebody probably will ask, it's called it was, it's a 2006, so it's probably not around, Antique Sewing by RJR Fabrics. It's just lovely. And I do remember I bought quite a bit of it um, because I really, really loved it. And I do know that fabric goes in and out of print. So what I'm going to do is I won't bore you. I'm going to be cutting out of my tan frame fabric here. I'm going to be cutting eight 10 inch squares for pillows what i have for one pillow I've, i'm taking out four 10 inch squares okay that will be for the base of my pillow you will see every single uh fabric so it doesn't matter which fabric you use but then i have two 10 inch squares cut on the diagonal and that's for the triag triangles that we're putting in top the frame fabric that I have used. I have used this tan. I'm cutting eight. I'm cutting it out of yardage. I've cut, I'm cutting eight 10 inch squares. And again, they are ironed on the half diagonal. Okay, that makes our fold. And then for my backing fabric, for my one pillow, well, my, my pillow, I used um, this backing fabric and I've cut two pieces about 19 inches by 26 inches. Um, and then I've ironed that in half for my backing, for my envelope closing I have my four 10 inch squares here. I'll put these of it three here. So I have my four 10 inch squares, and I'm just going to grab two of my of my um, fabric here and I'm going to put the diagonals right down the center my folded bit right down the center as you can see there okay I'm gonna they're folded right in half if you want to pin this by all means you can 
but my fold is meeting right in the center. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stitch it right around the edge, about quarter of an inch. I'm gonna do this with all four squares. Now, just like with our pin cushion, what we're going to do, we're just going to sew two of these, the top row together and then the bottom row together, and we're going to make a big four patch. So the important thing to remember, though, is that your diagonals here from the, the outside corner are coming to the point down here, okay? And then the next row, our, our diagonals are coming to the point up here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put the pretty side over to the pretty side. doesn't matter the configuration of my other fabrics because as I say, as I did in my pin cushion, all the fabrics are going to show anyway. So I can see my stitching. I'm just going to go slightly wider than that. And right down to the middle in a back stitch. So this is my top row. And that's what we have there with our points matching. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our bottom row. We're going to do the exact same thing. Oh, this script doesn't go the right way, but that's okay. You won't be able to see it. You're just going to see tan on this part. It's fine. So there we go. I'm going to put the proper side over the right side of this one to the right side of that one. Now, we have this here with that, with the diagonals going up. With the diagonals together, we have them, this point here. So and now what we're going to do is with the diagonals all into the center, I'm going to put the right sides together. I'm going to bring this side over to here, and I'm just going to match up. I'm going to open up this seam here. We are going to open up these seams, okay? Just like on my, on my um, pin cushion, we're going to open up that seam, and it's wide enough that we can just go right there. We can see it. Open that up. Finger press that right there. And then we're going to just match that seam right there. We're just going to match it. Okay? Just so all those points come together. Again, a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch. And then with those seams opened up, that seam there opened up, that seam there opened up. And I'm going to just back stitch that a little bit. And then we have our four patch together. Now I'm going to go over to my ironing board and I'm going to iron this really well. As you can see, right off of my sewing machine, I have pressed open my seams here. And they really do press open nicely. They really do. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised with all of this sort of bulk in there, but they press open nicely. And I'm keeping them there. I'm keeping them because it makes sort of a, 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 a little bit of a substantial pillow top. So this is what the top of my pillow looks like yet, right now. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you the my next pillow. I put this white here. This, uh, this, that was... That was a one fat one ten inch square that I cut in the diagonal. I don't have that exact print from the from the uh, thing, but I do have this print that I have chosen. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut my ten inch square, my white print that I want to sort of look the same on the diagonal. At, so I end up with two triangles. Okay, these aren't quite. Big enough, but, I, but we do cut this pillow down a little bit to fit our form and to make these fit a little bit. So, so I have my four back. white floral prints. And what we're going to do is we're going to be putting them right with a point and the edges right there, okay, about an inch in. Now, because this is a big one, remember we did our, um, 
we did our pin cushion it was just a little frame but because this is a large bit and this is on the bias this frame is on the bias it turns over from center to corner beautifully it turns over about an inch or so okay now don't worry that it's that it doesn't come all the way to the bottom. I think it would be a bit, have been a bit better. Um, the suggestion was to cut these in half. I basically would have, because of the waste of fabric. Um, I'm not all that bothered about the waste myself because I'm using the triangles, but never mind. I have to make my p pillow a bit uh, smaller. But if you wanted to and weren't worried about the waste, um, as, as I was told, you know, to not to have waste, I would have just had the, the whole thing like that and then I wouldn't and then had it had it like that but as it is I we have to cut my pillow down just slightly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just secure my four triangles away from where I roll it just right right there like that I'm going to just secure them with pins you could, could by all means you could glue this if you wanted a little drop of glue And now I'm going to go over and I'll show you how we just roll this edge over and make our lovely frame. So I'm going to be starting in the corner, just in the corner. And what you want to do is you want, this is a raw edge. We're enclosing that by rolling this over. But you see how that pulls up? You want to make sure that's secured down, but you want to make sure that you're, you're not pull, pulling too much. You're not pulling just a little. You want to make sure that where you roll, and it is a, about an inch, but you're going to start sewing in the corner, okay? And what we're doing is, because we've secured our, our triangle down, you can see we're just rolling that over about an inch, keeping everything nice and flat. We're stitching on the outside, on this edge, not this edge here. This is going to be sort of free. We're going to stitch, enclosing this white fabric, just carefully, just go slowly. And the, as I say, this frame is rolling over about an inch wide, okay? Again, everything is laying nice and flat. We're not pulling it, but we're going to be able to see this like a pointed oval of green. So again, it doesn't matter where you put your fabrics because we are going to see all six okay. fabrics. Now, when I get to about, about two and a half, three inches down, I'm going to take my other side and it's attached at the point. You see that? Let me just see if it's in the frame here. Yes, it's attached at the point, okay? It's attached at the center point. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll the second half, the second frame, keeping it nice, going right down to the bottom there. Not, it's not pulling. I'm going to roll that second frame right over, keeping everything lovely and flat. You see that? I have a lovely point there and the point here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to there, this point here. I'm going to put my needle down and I'm going to just secure that point there up to the center point. and my needle down. I'm gonna turn my frame around and I am actually going to come back on that stitching that I've just stitched very, very carefully, back on that stitching nicely. And then with my fabric rolled over lovely, everything is lovely and flat, nothing is pulling, nothing is buckling. I'm going to stitch on this, this inside edge here of my frame. and I'm gonna come right down to the corner. Right into the corner. I can 
can actually leave my needle down because I can come back and I can do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm just going to turn that over. I'm going to roll that point over right there, keeping it solid in the corner. And I have this large pointed oval. My frame is turning over about an inch. And I'm just going to secure that, this outside edge down. Everything is flat. My oval here is flat. I'm keeping everything nice and flat right there. You have to, there's my pin. I'll just take that pin out. Everything is nice and flat. And what am I going to do? I'm aiming towards the center. Okay, but this is nice and flat. Everything is nice. You're not pulling anything. Even though you're on the bias, you're not pulling it out of shape. Now, take that pin out. Now, again, I'm, I've rolled that over and it's a, it's a fixed at the center. It's a fixed at the center point. But I'm going to take my second frame. Don't, don't forget. And I'm about three inches down from the center point. I'm just going to take my second frame and I'm just going to roll over. And that frame, uh, I'm going to tuck that in. I'll do this. I'll do this one. Sometimes it's either one will one will um, lay a bit nicer. This one will tuck sort of more under. So this one goes over. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But again, it's about an inch down from the center. And my white piece of fabric is lovely and closed. And I'm going to go over. I'm going to co come up to that center, that point right there. Put my needle down. Just straighten up and aim right on the outside and right into the center of my pillow. Keep my needle down, turn, and I'm going to come back on that stitching. And again, if you if you put a, a, an applique or a button on it, that would be co covered anyway. Everything is nice and flat. I'm not forcing anything. I'm holding, I'm rolling that bias edge about an inch over. And it rolls beautifully, you see that? So everything is nice and flat. And I'm just gonna come down on this inside edge here. this really well and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to from the corner just just sort of like an inch in I'm going to secure my bottom triangle here it goes in about an inch I'm just going to secure that because I'm going to have to I'm going to have to um, use that stitching as a guide I'm just going to stitch that to about there I'm going to stitch my uh, triangle down about an inch in just go to the corner doesn't matter because our corners are going to be rounded anyway so I'm just stitching this down so I can see where when I put my backing on oops ran out of thread where I put my backing on where um where my stitching will be so I'm just going to continue stitching that around I have ironed this really well and as you can see I have secured down this these white bits right here and again there's about an inch hanging off but that's okay because the um the uh pillow form we have it would have been too uh this this pillow form would this pillow would have been too big so my pillow form will fit nicely so with my um with i'm just measuring my backing fabric here this is going to be my backing fabric so it's not quite like the other one but it's fine um i'm going to be cutting off um, I'm going to just lay that like that and I'm going to be cutting off um, to the edge. I'm going to be cutting off two pieces about about eight or nine inches longer than than uh, my actual pillow. Okay, I've had and I have my two pieces of fabric here that I've cut about 19 inches by 26 or something like that and I have folded it in half both of them. I fold it in half and I've made a nice crease now 
this is the back of my pillow form, uh, my pillow. Um, I quite like the fact that it's doubled fabric. Um, sometimes I even, I even line my backing because I want my pillow cushion to be really nice and substantial, not just two hunks of fabric sewn together, right sides together, and then a seam around it. I quite like the fact that when I make an envelope closing, it's really nice and big, and also it's nice and thick. So I have my two pieces of fabric here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down my pillow top here, pretty side up like that. Move this over here, pretty side up. And as you can see, it's about an inch too, too big over here. That's fine. I've cut my piece of backing um, that, that size, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down just like that. It fits properly like there with the fold, the fold up here, okay? The fold, this fold is up here. It doesn't really matter which way the, your folds go. But this, this one, it's got a little bit wrinkled. This one, I'm laying pretty side again, down again to my thing. And the fold is right there, okay? Now this fold here, which is up here, and this fold here really overlap. I really, really like them overlapping so that the back is, is almost one, but it's, it's easy to get your pillow form in, okay? So I have this laid like that. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over and I will pin where, or you can clip it, I will pin where the folds are, like, like right about there and right about here because I'm going to be sewing now on this side. That's why I'm going to be aware of my, it's a, it's a wide seam, it's like an inch and a half seam, that's fine, that's absolutely fine. So this is where my envelope ends and is tucked in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, right there, I'm going to stitch right on or right inside that stitching where we secured down the white fabric there because that doesn't go up to the very end but it's okay it's okay that that doesn't come to the end because my pillow form as i said is um is too small it's too small so i'll just put a few more pins in here so i can go along keeping it keeping it nice and straight and what i'm going to do is when i get to the corners when i get to the corners i'm stitching along about it it's about an inch an inch and a quarter maybe seam allowance, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. When I get to about three inches from, from the corner, don't worry about this curve here. Don't worry, we're going to sort of cut that off, but that's part of the design of our pillow. From about three inches to about three inches there, I'm just going to make a nice curve. Just curve that corner. I'm gonna curve all four corners. I'll show you. On one end, I haven't curved any corners yet. I'll just start and I'll just do a back stitch. I'm going to be doing this quite a few, gonna be um, uh, reinforcing this pillow quite a few times because I'm going to see that this is where my envelope closing is. So I'm really going to reinforce that and I'm gonna come back now. I'm about three, about three inches down from the, the uh, corner here. I'm just going to eyeball. You can, by all means, uh, if you wanted to draw a line, I'm just going to eyeball a, a small curve from about here to there. I'm going to curve. Don't worry about we're, we're, we're sort of cutting off this, uh, this end here, but that's okay. So I'm just going to start making a nice curve. If you wanted to mark it, you can. And then again, just coming into this seam here. Now this is where I pinned it, where my other, where my, uh, oh no, that's just a regular pin. I'll find where my um, envelope closing is, not there. Oh, it's on the other side, that's right. This is just where I pinned it. So I'm just stitching. The reason I'm making such a wide uh, thing is my pillow form isn't big enough and also I'm uh, 
taking into consideration those triangles. So again, I'm coming here, I'm about three inches from the bottom here, and I'm just going to, I'm eyeballing this seam here, and I'm just going to make a shallow curve. Just like that. So I finished sewing all the way around, curving my corners here, and what I've done, as you notice that was a square, what I've done is I've just trimmed away that little corner, I've just, I, my, my camera just uh, clicked off. So what I've done, that square, I've just taken off that corner, but leaving that about an inch, and I've just rounded these corners, but I've not like clipped into those, this seam here, okay, I've just, I've kept that like one, one and a half inch seam, because I like it nice and thick, okay, but there we have a nice rounded corner, here's my opening, and as you can see, my, my opening is really big, the other opening comes up here, so that when we go to put our pillow form in, oh my goodness, but right for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this inside out, It had a tag on it, <laughs> and I was allowed to remove it. I always think I'm going to get arrested under penalty of law. This tag can to not be removed, but I am the consumer. But I did notice that this is for a cover 16 by 16, but the insert is an 18 by 18 inch. So our cushion cover ends up 16, but this is an 18 by 18. So if you use your four 10 inch squares, you're going to need an 18 inch by 18 inch um, nine ounce pillow. is my lovely pillow, my lovely cushion. Look at that, isn't that pretty? <laughs>